Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well and enjoying your half term holidays. Um, I think you have all deserved the well earned break and those that are helping you at home as well. Um, we are busy here at home, we're busy lambing at the moment and I thought sure just for a wee change I'll bring you out into the lambing shed with me and let you see one or two of the cute wee lambs. This is one. Um, wait till you see this other wee one, wait till you see. Isn't it lovely? It's just beautiful, the two of them sleeping there. Um, so I am here to read a wee Bible story to you, um, and it's one of my favourites. Um, it's Feeding the Five Thousand, so make sure you're nice and comfy and get ready to listen to a wee story. I'll see you after. There were once 5,000 tired and hungry and probably very grumpy people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. They had come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast, stayed all morning, all afternoon and way past dinner. No one had meant to be out there that long, but that's how it was, listening to Jesus, as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this particular day, that's just what they did. But they hadn't brought enough food, and they couldn't go and buy themselves a burger and chips to go because, of course, they were in the middle of nowhere, with no shops or restaurants. Besides, that kind of food wasn't invented yet. What would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home for dinner. They don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town and buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money. What food do you have? Jesus asked. Go and see. Now there was a little boy in the crowd. He had brought a lunch that his mother had made him that morning. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much, not nearly enough for 5,000, but it was all that he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his little lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said, but they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. And so the little boy gave Jesus his lunch. Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, Watch. How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with such with just that? Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans, and Jesus knew the one who in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? Jesus took the little boy's lunch, looked up to heaven and thanked his father. Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends and Jesus' friends started to hand out the food. And do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more and more and more. Enough for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Second helpings, third helpings, even fourths, until they were full and still there were leftovers. Well, Jesus did many miracles like this. Things people thought couldn't happen, that weren't natural. But it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God had been doing from the beginning, of course. Taking the nothing and making it everything. Taking the emptiness and filling it up. Taking the darkness and making it light. Well, boys and girls, wasn't that a wonderful story? Just how amazing and how powerful our God is. Um, but it's actually made me feel quite hungry now. So I made myself a wee snack. Thought I would share with you what I'm going to have. So I'm going to have a nice scone. And we've got a wee yogurt. And a nice orange. And then lastly, oh, lovely bun. Mm, looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's nearly too good to wait. I might just have a wee bite now. Oh, ready? No, no, do you want to share it with me? Right, 
So if I was to come to your house and we were going to share all this here, would there be enough? Uh, there might be. There might be enough, maybe for a couple of bites each, but that might be it. Right. In our story tonight, we've seen how Jesus was able to feed 5,000 people. Now, that is a lot of people to feed. Um, and not one of them went home hungry. They all went home full. And um, I sort of like to visualise roughly how many people that would be. So I sort of thought the Odyssey Arena could hold over 10,000 people when it's full. So if you think about half of that, if it's filled with people, like that's so many people sitting listening to Jesus all day. And yet he fed them all through the little boy giving his lunch of two fish and five loaves. And it really just shows to us God's power. Um, like God created the heavens and the earth. He created you and he created me. He created everything that's around us. And he was there in that situation because Jesus is God. And um, God is always in control. And it's, it's just something to remember that no matter what we're going through, that God is in control. If there's something very, very small worrying you, or if there's something very, very big worrying you, you take it to God, you talk to him, you pray to him, and um, let God take over and provide for you. The other wee thing I noticed um, in the story was how um, the people were cared for. And the wee boy gave his lunch and the disciples, they gave out the lunch. And it just sort of brought to me that in our lives, we should be going out into the world and we should be caring for other people. We should be loving them and um, we should be helping them. Um, whether it be something big or whether it be the smallest wee thing, um, it'll mean so much to that person and it'll show them God's love through us. And then the other wee thing then I just wanted to say to you was that nothing is too big on this earth for God. Remember he created it and um, he loves us all and he just wants us to follow him in our lives and put our trust in him and he will provide for us. So boys and girls, that is me finished. Um, I hope you enjoyed the wee story. Enjoy the rest of your week off. You really, really do deserve it. You have worked so hard at the moment with your homeschooling and all those people around you. Give them a big hug and say thank you for all the hard work as well. So I will hopefully see you all soon and take care. Bye.